The Camarines Norte Peninsula in eastern Philippines is Asia's Gold Coast. Across the country, over 200,000 people work as small-scale gold miners. Every year they produce hundreds of kilos of gold, exported worldwide on the black market. Driven by poverty and hunger, they stop at nothing to dig out a few flecks of precious metal, including risking the lives of their children. Gerald searches for gold using a method called compressor mining, a process that involves pumping pressurised air into his lungs. Gerald will have to descend 30 feet into a completely flooded mine shaft. Breathing through this thin plastic tube, it can easily get trapped or broken. Children are often used because their lungs have not been damaged by the fumes that get sucked into the tube. In addition to the immediate life-threatening dangers posed by an engine failure or collapse, the conditions also pose longer-term health risks for children. One is the poor quality of air fed to the divers by the compressor engines. It's likely that that air that's sucked through the tube will be mixed with diesel fumes, with carbon monoxide, with other pollutants, because it's very close to the engine that's driving the compressor. The second is the effects on the body at those depths underwater. Your body's under a lot of pressure, little gas bubbles can form in your bloodstream, and those gas bubbles can block off the blood supply to little bits of your brain or little bit, bits of your lung. And a third is the poor quality of the water they're diving in, susceptible to bacteria and parasites. For somebody to be spending a lot of time breathing poor quality air, under pressure, under the water, and exposed to all of these bacteria and other bugs in that dirty water. This clearly poses um, a significant health risk. Despite the dangers, the mayor feels he needs to turn a blind eye to illegal mining rather than forcing families further into hunger. Child miners like Gerald are trapped in a vicious cycle of poverty and danger.